Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is k to the power of 6, this is equal to 64. So what are the values of k given that k is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. We have k to the power of 6, this is equal to 64. The first step here is to express 64 basically as 2 to the power of 6. So we have k to the power of 6, this is equal to 2 to the power of 6. So let's take 2 to the power of 6 on the left hand side, so that now we have k to the power of 6, subtract 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 0. We can express k to the power of 6 as k to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, subtract 2 to the power of 6, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that can be expressed as a plus b. Then we have a minus b. We have that from this equation, a is equal to k to the power of 3, and that b is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Therefore, a plus b, this is the same thing as k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And that's a minus b. This is the same thing as k to the power of 3. Subtract 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's solve equation 1 here. We can call this case... 1. From case 1, we have k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Now you find that k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3, this is actually the sum of two cubes that we can express as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. And this can be expressed as a plus b. Then here we have a squared um, minus AB then plus B squared. So let's apply this identity so that here we have K plus 2 multiplying by here we have K squared minus 2K then plus 2 squared which is equal to 4. This is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. We have the first part as K plus 2 this is equal to 0. And the second part here is k raised to the power of 2 minus 2k plus 4. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, that k1 is equal to minus 2. And the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ak squared plus 2, that is plus bk plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, and that c is equal to 4. So let's solve for k2, comma k3, and this means that we apply the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the value of a, b, and c from here, so that now we have minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared. Then subtract, we have 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 4, divided by 2 times 1. So minus times minus 2 here, this is 2 plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 2 squared, this is equal to 4, subtract 4 times 4, this is equal to 16, everything here divided by 2. So here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16, this is actually equal to minus 12, divided by 2. So that now, here we have 2, plus or minus. Now, we can express 
the square root of minus 12. This is the same thing as 4 times 3 times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So now, here we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. This is equal to 2. The square root of minus 1. This is i. Then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So from here, the numerator part here, we can factor out 2, so that now we have 2. This is 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. So if we simplify here, then this implies that k2, comma k3, this is equal to 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. So we have k2 equal to 1 plus i square root of 3. And we have that k3 is equal to 1 minus i square root of 3. And these are actually two complex solutions here. Under case 1. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now in case 2 here, we have k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is actually equal to 0. So we find that this equation here, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And this can be expressed as a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus ab, then plus b squared. Applying this identity here, then we have k minus 2. So that now, here we have k squared plus 2k, then plus 2 squared, which is 4. Then this is equal to 0. So again, we have two parts here. The first part here is k minus 2. This is equal to 0. The second part here, we have k squared plus 2k plus 4. This is actually equal to 0. From the first part here, now we have that k4, this is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 2, and that c is equal to 4. So we can solve for k5, comma k6. This is by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b, plus or minus the square root of, this is b squared minus 4 you see. Everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c in this formula here. So that now we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of, now 2 squared here, this is 4, minus 4 times 4, this is equal to 16, divided by 2. So that now, here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16, this is minus 12, everything here divided by 2. And this implies that here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 12. We can express this as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So now here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. This is actually equal to 2. The square root of minus 1. This is i then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. The next step is that in the numerator part, 2 is common here. We can factor out 2 so that into the parentheses, here we have minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. Everything divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here so that now we have minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. So this implies that from here, we have that k5, this is equal to minus 1, 
plus i square root of 3. And we have that k6, this is equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 3. Now, these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. And this totals to 6 solutions to this exponential problem. So we have that k1 from here. k1 is equal to minus 2. We have k2 comma k3. This is essentially equal to 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. And we have that k4. This essentially is equal to 2. And that k5 comma k6. This is actually equal to minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. Now these are the solutions to this exponential problem. We have two real solutions and four complex solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. Can you like this video and subscribe? See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.